Are you struggling to get the highest performance out of your budget PC? In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings. If you apply these on your PC, you will instantly get 10x performance out of your system. So make sure to watch this whole video. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and without wasting time, let's dive straight into it. Let's go ahead and start off by going into our settings. Just hit on here and hit settings to get into the settings app. From there, you want to hit system and you'll get sent to this screen. You will see all this to the left and this is what you need to look for. Go down to your storage settings. I want to show you guys how to absolutely squash and clean up your entire disk space. This is something that will create lag and it can cause crashes. These are the most important things whenever you're talking about smoothness in your game and just smoothness on your desktop. The easiest way to do this is to delete apps you don't need and other unnecessary items. Go to temporary files and clear those out. Just come here and remove all these files. You're going to want to come up here, turn this on, and configure storage settings or run it now. Set this up for every week. This will clear out temporary files and empty your recycle bin regularly. Even if you come up here and delete something, it just goes to the recycle bin. So it's not actually deleted until you empty it. This setup will handle that for you automatically. You want to do the same thing down here with recycling bin delay and temporary files not in use. I set it to delete files in the recycle bin if they've been there for over 14 days. Now, go back to your settings. Go to the About section and hit Advanced System Settings. You will see the Performance section where you want to hit Settings. Here, you can adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer, etc. This includes things like showing shadows under the mouse pointer, showing shadows under Windows, showing thumbnails instead of icons, and other settings. I only have a few options turned on. These are the ones that I like. There are others that you can customize. If you see how I'm doing this, on the standard setting, it's going to outline everything entirely. This is all for performance and smoothness. It's great for low-end PCs. I have a decent computer, and I still use these settings to keep things simple. Next, hit the advanced tab. This is something we didn't cover last time, where you choose how to allocate processor resources. Set it to adjust for best performance of programs. Make sure this is on programs as some computers default to background services. If you're playing a game or watching a stream, it will prioritize the primary program, allocating most resources to it. So in the next step, guys, right-click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Then, go inside the Startup tab and disable any of the software that you don't want to start up with your Windows. Don't worry, this will not affect the functionality of any of these applications. It will just prevent them from booting up along with Windows which will improve your boot up time and decrease the load on your CPU right after startup, giving you more CPU resources for your games. Go through this whole list and disable any applications that you don't require. For the next tiny change, go ahead and open up the start menu, go to settings, and then to the gaming section. Make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off. I know some of you might use it for clipping games, but it actually impacts performance by running in the background. You can use alternatives like OBS or NVIDIA Shadow Play instead. Just disable the Xbox Game Bar. Then, move on to the Game Mode setting and make sure this is turned on. Game Mode has been improved with each Windows update, so it's worth enabling. Now, go to Graphic Settings. In Graphic Settings, click on Browse to locate the executable file for your specific game. For example, if you're playing Fortnite, find the Fortnite game executable and set it to high performance. We got our free Gear Up Booster FPS Boost. I have given the link below in the description. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here. Open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the Gear Up Booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So, guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. 
So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. In the next step, open up the registry editor on your PC to configure these settings. Search for registry editor in Windows search. Right click to run as administrator. The first setting we'll adjust is to disable power throttling for your GPU and CPU. To start, go to the computer tab and navigate to HKey Local Machine and click on the drop-down menu. Next, go to the System tab, open the drop-down, and find Current Control List. Select Control, scroll down to find Power, and click on Power Throttling. In this section, if the Power Plant option is not available, create it. If it is already present, click Modify and change the value data to 1. After that, click OK to apply the change. Now, prioritize games for better FPS. Go to HK Local Machine, then Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current Version, Multimedia, and System Profile. Then go to Tasks and select Games. Modify settings like Affinity, F, Background Only to FF, GPU Priority to E, and Priority to 6. Set Scheduling Category and SFIO Priority to High. Now, guys, you need these software. You can download from my Discord server link is in description. Now guys open Park Control application. Once you have the Park Control application open, select the profile and set it to bit some highest performance. Next, ensure that Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency DC are all disabled and set to 100%. Move all the sliders to the maximum setting, then enable Dynamic Boost. This setting disables any threads that aren't in use when you're not actively using the computer but keeps all of them on while gaming to deliver the best performance. You can also check show power plan change notifications if you prefer, though it doesn't make much difference. Go to power options and confirm that it's set to bit some highest performance to maximize CPU performance. This configuration helps push the CPU to its maximum potential giving you the best FPS possible. Next, click Make Active and then Apply. Make sure every green bar in the interface is visible and not grayed out ideally. They should all show green. If you're running multiple applications, you may see additional green bars, which is fine. Ensure everything looks correct. Click OK and each time you turn on your PC, Park Control should automatically start up with these settings. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button make sure to subscribe my channel feel free to ask any question in the comments peace out